Hey everybody, thanks for coming back for episode 2. After looking through the footage of episode 1, I actually noticed that there was something that I forgot to talk about with this mod before we continue. Um, something I forgot to talk about, actually, was that the mod makes the AI of workers a lot smarter. If I were to automate this worker, the tile improvements he would decide to do would be a lot better than the tile improvements that would normally happen in the base game. I believe settlers also determine better locations to build cities when it gives you recommended spots, but I could be wrong on that. This actually makes a big impact on the game because although um, I almost never automate my workers uh, just because they tend to make very stupid choices, so I'd rather just manually operate them, even if it means taking up a lot of time to do so. Um, the downside of it, at least, well, you could look at it as a downside. More experienced players probably look at it as, as an upside, because it's more challenge. Enemy workers are going to be a lot smarter, which means that every enemy's country, because every enemy is going to have workers, they're going to have better tile improvements, and thus better economies, and thus be better countries. So, I've heard some people compare this to raising the difficulty one or two levels. I don't know exactly how the math works out on this or anything, and of course, uh, it's a very difficult thing to determine, considering difficulty levels tend to determine what the enemy's bonuses are, not necessarily how smart they are. It's a really hard thing to determine, but it does make the game harder, at least in AI difficulty. Anyway, let's continue. So, as a quick recap for the last episode, we are progressing towards mathematics. We're in a little bit of a money issue, but that'll be mostly solved once we get uh, currency, which we're gunning for. We might not go straight for it, might go, might go for construction, it kind of depends on how the situation rolls. But we're trying to get this spot up here so that we can get that iron. However, it looks like a barbarian settlement has started up there. We're going to need some archers to take care of that. So, I think what I want to do right now, I could get the deer camp, but we don't really need the healthiness at the moment. No, we're fine for healthiness. So, maybe I could road over there? I don't know. I could start producing military from there soon, though. In fact, let's just go ahead and I used a shift alt there, so that after it's done the granary and the barracks, it'll go straight into just continually making archers. Right. So I want to get a few cottages along this river, though, for Rome. It's likely not going to use them right now. Yeah, because I've got so many scientists in there. I might actually want to lower that by one, just temporarily at least. Also, we can actually sacrifice a population. Uh, I want to manually tell them to keep growing there so that we can get that granary. It tends to be a wise investment. And... Yeah, I guess work on the worker. Might have been uh, a bad decision there, actually, to do that when I did that. Usually, when you when you whip like that to get production, it's called whipping is when you use slavery. Um, you tend to want to do that to a worker or a settler. That, that tends to be a wise investment. Because, uh, yeah, I'll go... I could hook that up. Sorry, just future planning a little bit. Um, you tend to want to get that, uh... You tend to want to whip out settlers and workers because you're not growing during that time. So it's more important that you spend less time on that rather than less time on something else that may not be as big of a deal. So we have library finished there. We could use that to start getting some more great people on the side there, however, it doesn't really speed up the process. Great people points from each city doesn't, like, all combine together to give you one number of, you know, they don't they don't all gather together. It's each city has its own individual great person generation, and every time a great person is generated in the entire country, the requirement goes up. So yeah, you'll get it faster if you were to have every city with scientists in it, you'd be getting great scientists faster. But it's not, like, a huge speed-up kind of thing. Anyway, it looks like everyone has three cities, at least that we know they have three cities. So we're about on par with everyone. I think I want to use this city to get... Uh, they already have a barracks, actually, so I want to get a scout. Um, we already have a lot scouted out, so it's not a huge deal. I'm going to start roading up into this area and then this area and everything. Because after this worker, I think we want a settler. 
In fact, we might chop that out. And since we have that there, I want to get a settler. Is that actually a land straight? No, okay. Well, at least we have a scout just filling out some bits of the map now. Judaism has been found in a distant land. It was Greece, okay. Enemy near, oh. Um, low chance of it actually taking the city, but I should still be paranoid just in case. Ooh, it's gonna attack, isn't it? I'm not gonna have the worker go in the city, because if the city gets taken, I don't want to lose the worker. Because early on, that's a lot of turns. Oh, there's more than one of them, and they're gonna waylay the land. Okay. This may cause an issue. Well, until further notice. Might as well have them working ahead of time on this. If in other sciences, we should arrive okay, at we get more into chopping now, which is good. And truth without error. I think we want to, for the sake of our wallets, of we're going to pick up a quick sailing just to get some international trade going. But we might lose that next turn, I don't know. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to whip out an immediate archer. Because then that town will probably be fine. Start working immediately on the next settler. Now, I was hoping. Get city defense. I was hoping that by the time these guys came out and got over here, I could have an archer over there. But uh, this whole situation. I've got two archers there now. We're about to have a lot of settlers, too. I was going to pick up those two cities quickly. Well, I'll take that hill there. There we go! Salvage that. I'm going to use this opportunity to probably send... Ah, right. I don't even have a set goal for this city, really. I could do a lot of things with this one. Um... It's not the greatest land in the world. Here's the thing. I would want to make this a production city. That would probably be my goal right now, is to make that a production city. Let's get some extra money. I would want to make that a production city, however, it only has one mine, which would mean I'd be reliant on, um... I'd mostly be reliant on workshops with metal casting, which make the food, or the ground less food rich, which would mean I'd have to offset that with a lot of farms. There are a lot of weird little things with this, and I don't know how much of this I want to rely on. I might want to just make that a mediocre commerce city. All around, it's not the greatest in the world, it just had a lot of resources, which kind of helped. I think I'll make it a pseudo-production city, just because I need another one right now. So I am going to make a farm down there. Okay, we should be safe to get an archer there. So there we go, we've got Neopolis. Let's we'll start with a granary as usual. I do need to start getting culture in these places though. Because they're not getting border pops at the moment, so... Just make sure that it knows to get those queued up. And we can start actually working on the city to get it rolling really fast. I want to get that gold up quickly, actually, because that will mean one more happy person in every city. So we already have a warrior in there. So I'm going to start sending those archers up to where I want to make the other city. You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sail. Okay, so we have international trade now, out of at least coastal cities. Um, right, capital, I want you to go ahead and get working on a barracks for our inevitable... War. I don't like that city there. I'm gonna have to take care of that at some point. Okay, well, we're clear to get there. 
Gonna need culture in there early. Okay, um... I'm actually going to get the monument first on that one. Don't know if that's a good idea, but I really want to get that iron as early as possible. I'm probably also not using slavery nearly enough here. I could be much more productive using it more. Oh god, I made an extra settler and didn't even mean to. Shit. Um... Well, you're gonna get working on archers for now. <laughs> that was a bad mistake, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna have the settler wait in my capital, and I'll have to try and remember that I have it. Least I have one. Hi, China. Yeah, we can have open borders. I don't care. I think I want to send all of my workers out east at the moment. Ugh. Still the point where every little movement of the slider changes a lot. Which I'm not thrilled about. Oh shit, yeah, they waylaid that place. Okay, you're gonna go straight there then. Whereas you will work on the road to there. Okay, Neopolis is actually going to grow very quickly. Okay, well, you're going to start going up there to get rid of the enemies early. You... Uh, uh, road. And we need to get the pigs up and running first because that's food. Let's get some chariots so we have some kind of mounted support for this upcoming war. Oracle's built in the faraway lands, so someone got a free tech out of that. Uh, this spot's safe for now. Might as well get a preemptive road there. Really wish I could have gotten this iron faster. Um, I probably should have changed my build order to get it faster. Okay, we need to make sure we have at least one archer in every city. I'd like three in every city. But we don't have any super close neighbors, so that might not be such a big priority. Also, this road is not quite as important now that we do have trade out of it due to sailing. However, I would still like to be able to move units in and out of there quickly. So they have two warriors and an archer in there with city defense, which does kind of make that a pain in the ass to take. We can deal with this, though. Up there, they have more archers who are going home. Okay. You can stay here. Okay, we have the road connection there. Nice. We're doing a fairly good job of getting everything up and running. Could be better, though. There we go. We have horses connected to everything now. Which I believe we might have already had before. Judaism is spread to me, and I don't want to go anarchy at the moment, because that'll bring down our defenses. Actually, no, I don't think we even have any defenses in that city anyway. Regardless, they're, tr they're gonna try and take that city. As we can already see by them moving out archers. I don't want to go Judaism just yet. Where did it go to my capital? Okay, Judaism is spread to my capital. That would better our relations with Greece. We're likely gonna end up taking over. Um, this is looking... Because I'm Rome, it's looking like I'm gonna try and go for domination of some sort because Rome is amazing at that, just because of how powerful it is early game. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just, uh, oops, uh, it was shift, wasn't it? Yes, shift, right click. I'm telling Rome that whenever it makes a military unit, just send it straight up there, just to save on time a little. 
So we have that done. We have our gold set up. We're doing well. What's wrong here? Too crowded. Oh, right. Math. Hmm. They're starting to change priorities. I can kill them on the open road really easily. So now's a good chance to build up a little bit of experience killing some archers. Plus, it'll save the chance of them going down to waylaying cities and wasting resources. So this one's gonna be production. I might as well chop one of the forests early to get some- to A, get some archers out faster. But B, mostly B, my chariot was killed by barbarian archer. Wow, those chances are low. Um, but the main chance I'm chop or the main reason I'm chopping this. The place has at least one archer. Good. Send an extra up there because it's on the front. And you can get working on a lighthouse. The main reason uh, I'm killing them is so they don't waylay the ground. And I feel like there was another thing I was going to say that I have now forgotten. Like, they're gonna waylay that. Um, I have archers in there that I could send out to kill that, and I will do that, because then I can walk back the same turn because it was a long road. Normally I don't like taking risks like that when it's only one dude, however, with that, you need that culture faster so I can get iron. Um, normally I wouldn't do that because it's risky. However, I had like a 99% chance to win. Not that I haven't had Everything that fuck me over in the past. I have it. had that fuck me over in the past, plenty. Okay, construction, we need to start getting into our real war stuff. I was sending you up there. I'd only get one out of that. Yeah, that, that can wait. We need to start changing around our priorities here. Just a little bit. Okay, that's all connected up and everything. I still need to kill them. Um... This, oh, right, there's a production city. Okay, that's easy. Yeah, start building farms. You hate the Greek. Uh, you are far away and I don't care about befriending you. Although the Greek are completely pathetically weak in, in terms of army size, I'm gonna steamroll them. Weirdly enough, only the Celts have a bigger army than me. Now, not weird saying that the Celts have an army. Whoops, that was a misclick. Meant to stack them. And I just noticed now that I could have upped that quite a long time ago, shit. Not weird that the Celts have a bigger army than me, the Celts love their armies. But it's weird that Greece isn't working very much on a military. Or, uh, China doesn't have a very good one either. In fact, Greek military is getting weaker and weaker compared to mine every turn. That's odd. Oh, I didn't realize I had another hill there. I can make a mine out of that. How long until you get that? 13 turns, jeez. No, I'm not giving you currency, Boudica. I can't possibly see that backfiring. She's so trustworthy. Most of my army, to be fair, are just archers for defensive purposes. Whereas, uh, the other armies of the world might have more offensive ones. So we only produce four espionage a turn, which means we are not gaining espionage with everyone because we know more than four people. So what I'm going to do here is manually put all four per turn into Genghis Khan until... Um, going to keep doing that until I can see his demographics. I want to be able to know everyone's demographics, so I roughly know how everyone measures up. 
Uh, normally I wouldn't take the steel, but I really do want health bit at this point for spies. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both because and kind, I have plenty of archers at the world. moment, and this is just going to start costing me, so I'd like to get a spy or two. I do like spies. Um, hmm. You can get a forum for now. Actually, no, you're production city. You're not going to get much out of a forum. Um, 